Now we'll see about the general parasitology. So in general parasitology, we will see the overview of the parasites. In parasitology, we read about the parasites. What are parasites? So parasites are living organisms which uh, live on other organisms or which are called as host and they derive the nutrition from the uh, host so they are called as the parasites so parasite is any organism which is living on another organism and deriving nutrition from it and thereby that organism is called as host while that uh, the organism which is deriving from nutrition from the host that is called as the parasite so the parasite is divided into two classes one is the protozoa the other one is the helminths so based on that classification the parasitology has also been classified into the two parts one is the protozoology and the other one is the helminthology so in protozoology we read about the protozoa in protozoology we read about the protozoa okay in protozoology we read about the protozoa while in helminthology we read about the helminths so uh, what is the difference between the par uh, protozoa and the helminths because both of them are belonging to the parasites okay so the difference between the protozoa and the helminths is that the protozoa is eukaryotic unicellular organism while the helminths are eukaryotic multicellular okay so that is the basic difference between a protozoa and a helminth that helminth is a uh, helminths are multicellular organisms and while well, the protozoa are unicellular organisms but both of them are eukaryotic unlike the bacteria which is prokaryotic because the parasites have uh, the cellular organelles in it and all the metabolic pathway which is present in the eukaryotic organisms all is present in the protozoa as well as in, in the helminth so that's why they are eukaryotic organism the difference is that the protozoa is unicellular while the helminth is multicellular organism now first we will see about the protozoology so here we will there is nothing to read uh, in the general protozoology except the classification of the protozoology so we will restrict ourselves to read about the classification of the protozoology and the classification of the helminthology or the classification of the protozoa and the classification of the helminths that will help us in the future uh, lectures on the protozoa and the different helminths so first coming to the classification of the protozoa protozoa are classified into four groups one is the amoeba the other one are ciliates which are having cilia in them other other things uh, i mean other classification is flagellates and the fourth number is the sporozoa okay so the amoeba are further classified into the free living amoeba and the intestinal amoeba they all are causing infections in the humans the free living amoeba is sometimes asked as short note we will see this uh, in our upcoming lectures okay so what is the example of the free living amoeba the examples of the free living amoeba are the negleria fowleri acanthamoeba species and the balamutia species so the free living amoeba are there are three most important free living amoeba the name are Negleria, Acanthamoeba and the Valamutia species. Well, the intestinal amoeba are the Entamoeba histolytica and the Entamoeba coli. And the ciliates, in ciliates we have single uh, protozoa which is ciliate that is the Valentidium coli. The flagellates can be classified based on their site of infestation. So the flagellates, uh, flagellate protozoa which is infesting on in the intestine is the giardia lamblia and that which is infesting in the vagina that is the trichomonas vaginalis that which is uh, infest causing infestation on the blood and tissues that is lesmania and trypanosoma okay and uh, among the sporozoa those which are infesting in the blood these are the plasmodium which is causing malaria and the babesia and uh, uh, which are infesting in the tissues are the toxoplasma and cryptosporidiosis and which and those which are in the intestine are the isospora and the cyclospora so this whole classification should be at your tips 
this will help in solving many mcqs and this will help in uh, solving different questions as well so be, where they are infestation and what is the classification and what uh, are the protozoa which come in what type of class uh, that should be should must be remembered this is all about the protozoology next we will see about the helminth classification and then we will start the all the protozoa and the helminth one by one